Hey guys, it's Lisa. Oh wait, or shall I say it's um, Mouseketeer Lisa because I did dress up for tonight's event. Tonight is throwback night and it's one of the after dark events that Disneyland has and they always have so many things to do and it's four hours long. So we're gonna try and fit as much as we can into those four hours. So I wanna try and meet some characters. I definitely wanna try and get some food and I wanna check out the entertainment. So come along with me, let's hang out and yeah, let's have a nice little throwback night, night. So I'm here inside of Disneyland early because I have a Magic Key reservation and I always come early for the After Dark events just because, well, the first reason is just anxiety, okay? I just, I have anxiety and I want to be settled in figuring out what I'm doing before the event starts. But the second reason is that it's just good to plan. So if you ever come to an After Dark event, I do recommend you try to get here as early as you can. You can check in at 6 p.m. and you can check in either inside the park or you can check in at the front gate at Disneyland. And obviously if you check in inside of Disneyland, you have to have a park reservation. And then they always do it inside of Tomorrowland. So it's at the Starcade building, which if you don't know where that is, it's by the exit of Space Mountain. And today it seems like they opened it up early because it's at 5 p.m. when they opened it. It's 5 p.m. right now. And I saw people walking around and I was like, ooh, okay. So yeah, I'm gonna check in right now and then we will formulate a plan because I shockingly do not have one yet. Thank you. The benefit of checking in inside of Disneyland, inside of the Starcade building, is that you do get a look at the exclusive merch, although there's a t-shirt that's not here. So don't worry, I'll show that to you later. But we have an ornament, which they always do. It's like a little acrylic plastic ornament, and then they do a die-cut magnet. And I was very excited at first when I saw that pen, but it's open edition. It's actually not new, but it's still very nice. And of course, it has Walt's wonderful face, and I wonder what the front is. Let me show you really quick. So this is what the front of the pen looks like. It's of course the castle and it looks fantastic. Also it looks very vintage with this like, you know, coppery color. Very nice. All checked in, obviously, as you can tell by my who's it's, my what's it's uh, galore. <laughs> but I just wanted to show you the badge right here. So this is obviously inspired by the original Disneyland attraction tickets. And then this is the lanyard. And I know this is like a very small detail, but I just wanted to point it out. The event guide is printed on a more matte paper than the typical glossy paper. And I just really like that because it just feels a little bit more vintage. And then this menu piece of paper right here, it has the popcorn bucket, well the popcorn container that Disneyland originally had when it first opened, that little pattern right there. I don't know, the small details, you know? Let me show you my costume really quick. This is a very last minute costume, okay? Like very last minute, but I tried and obviously I am a mouseketeer. Let me step back. I don't know if that really did it, but yes, I am a mouseketeer in pink. I just did that because while I I don't know, I like pastel colors a little bit more than the traditional Mouseketeer colors. But yes, I am Mouseketeer Lisa, and you know, it was so last minute, I was doing my hair, I was like practicing it last night at one in the morning, and let me tell you, I was worried. I did it and I was like, I look like a founding father, truly. Like I looked like George Washington and I was worried, but you know, I think it looks better today. It's a little bit windy today, so it's looking a little frazzled, but that's okay. And these letters, well, I ironed them on right before I came here, and we're gonna cross our fingers that they stay on the entire night, because I am not sure if they will, but yay, Mouse here. <laughs> Oh wait, indulge me if you will just one moment longer because I wanted to show you my nails. I just did these the other day. I was gonna try and do something specifically for throwback night, but well, instead I came up with something a little bit more vague, but I did hand paint this mini with some gel polish and she's looking very focused. But yeah, I thought that was kind of fun. It was my first time doing a mini mouse on a nail. And then these are a little bit more plain, but you know, the colors kind of remind me of like strawberry banana, like a strawberry banana milkshake maybe. So I went over to Galactic Grill because the event starts in about an hour and that's when you can start ordering the specialty food. And I just think the After Dark events, like they excel when it comes to the food. Like Princess Night, all of that food was spectacular. But okay, I say that, but the thing I just ordered is weird. I don't even know why I ordered it. It's honestly, it's really weird. But I'll tell you what it is. So this is the peanut butter and jelly burger. It's an Angus beef patty, candied bacon, Havarti, peanut butter sauce, and grape jelly served on a toasted brioche bun. Well, you know what? I got french fries with it, so I at least know the french fries are gonna be good. But this just looks 
bizarre. Let's try it though. Oh, <laughs> like I said, I don't know why I ordered this, but here we are, me questioning my own decisions. This video isn't starting off very well, is it? Well, let's go for it. Well, that was weird. The bite that I got just tasted like peanut butter and the texture of a beef patty. Not my favorite, okay, but I will say I was supposed to have at least tried the bacon, like that was my intention, to at least get some bacon. Will it make it weirder? Maybe, but we're gonna go for it because we want the full experience. Let me get the other part. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, I did say that I knew it was gonna be weird. And I can say now it is confirmed that it's weird. It's peanut buttery, really overwhelmingly peanut buttery. Although the bacon that I did get was pretty nice. It was nice and crispy and it was good, but it didn't need to be coated in peanut butter. It feels wrong, but yeah. I don't know, I'm questioning my own sanity. I was the one that ordered this, right? <laughs> PB and J burger, mm, get out of here. I, I don't like you, but then again, I was the one that ordered it, so shame on me, right? And not shame on you, you didn't ask to be born. But we're gonna write this wrong, it's okay. I ended up getting a drink, this is the orange vanilla cream soda, and it's Fanta orange with vanilla sweet cream, and it looks pretty tasty. I'm really digging that sweet cream on top. You can't go wrong with this, right? Especially, look, it has a little candy orange on it. We're not gonna be able to go wrong with this. I got my straw out and I started to stir it. I don't know if this is what I'm supposed to be doing, but it feels right. It feels right because I think that if I were to just drink the Fanta orange, it would feel wrong. So let's try this. Ooh, light, refreshing, bubbly, citrusy. Okay, but not creamy. Ooh, yes, okay, that is good. It's very basic though, but still really tasty, especially after that peanut butter burger. We have to take a win. This is a win. Oh, and by the way, okay, so I think I'm gonna get in line for Tomorrowland Space Couple. I don't see like a huge line for it, but I was going to say that I was walking past the Star Wars launch bay and they covered up the sign and it says Carousel of Progress right now because that's where the mom and dad are going to be, mother and father, Carousel of Progress people. You know? So, yeah, I just thought that was a cute detail. I don't think we're gonna meet them tonight. The line was a little bit long, but I don't know. Nice details like that. We like them. We're back to a place where I have some deep trauma, okay? Some PTSD, and that is the area where I waited for two hours to meet Princess Leia yeah. at Princess Night. But you know what? We are gonna make things better. Ooh. Okay, that sound is them setting up. We are gonna be meeting the Tomorrowland Space Couple. And in case you don't know who the Tomorrowland Space Couple are, they were original characters that used to walk around Tomorrowland and I think that they would like, you know, interact with you, maybe go on a ride with you if you were lucky. But we're gonna talk to them and see how they've been in the past 60 years. Ooh, look who it is. Hello, how are you? We're enjoying ourselves. This is the first time, it's been a while since we've been in this century before. We've been traveling a lot of different time eras, but it's a lot of amazing things around here. Time, lots to see. I like that rocket over there too. It reminds, it reminds me of me the of smaller model of ours. Exactly. The first time we bought a rocket, it was about that size. It was the first time I met Mary. That's so fun. It's so, I'm so sorry. It's so hard for me to hear you. It's all but right. I just wanted to say that it's so nice to meet you. I wanted to get a good look at your outfits. Oh, sure. These are the fashions from the future. It's true. Have you heard of Acroland before? Have I heard of what? Acroland. Acroland. No, no, I have not. Acroland. It's a material. It's very comfortable for space travel. How fun. I just met Tomorrowland Space Couple and they had a lot of things to say, but honestly, I had a really hard time hearing what they were saying. Especially, I thought it was kind of funny because like, you know, his voice was echoing inside of his astronaut helmet bubble. <laughs> But all around, very cute. The costumes were really pretty, and well, I mean, hers was really pretty, her makeup was really pretty. She looked gorgeous, right? We loved her, and we also loved him. He was also very talkative, but I might have to put like subtitles if I can make out what they're saying in the video. <laughs> Well, we are working on a rocket ship right now that's 40 stories tall, and it could go to Mars and back. It'll take two and a half years. It's a bit of a long journey. Oh. So if you were to go on a journey for that long, what would you take with you if you could take one thing from your home? Mm. 
that you know what that's very difficult my new emos I would take a new emo with me oh interesting is that some sort of pet yes it's yes it's an adorable Donald Duck shaped pet oh very good yes. excellent well, I think you made a very good choice I think so too excellent. thank you very much would you like to get a photo together yes please come right in time also your hair looks crazy we love it you look fantastic also yes just as I suspected no shoes you're looking great <laughs> someone very exciting I just ran into. Hello there, dear. It's the Hello. fairy godmother. Yes, I'm Cinderella's fairy godmother. That's so true. Do I also get some wishes granted, maybe? Well, your fairy godmother loves you very much and is taking care of you, and she's the one that grants your wishes. Oh. But I can tell she's taking very good care of you. This is true, oh, you but thank you. And, and Jack's ears. I love that. Oh, I thought you I said there was... Jack and Gus. Never mind. I thought she said there was Gus Gus behind me. But anyway, thank you so much, fairy thank godmother. You. It's lovely to meet you. <laughs> White rabbit! Hello! You look so cute and fluffy! Why, thank you! Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Yes, it is in fact Dumbo. But I am at the very end of the line, so it's not quite my turn. But look at him. He looks so silly, so ridiculous. Look at how bouncy he is. Okay, we'll see him very soon, and we will get to see the feather in his trunk very, very soon, or maybe not so soon, but I'll, I'll keep you updated. It's been really, like, it's nice. On the other hand, I don't... We made it. Yay, we finally made it. Look, there he is. Oh my gosh, do you see his tiny elephant tail? Because I sure do. It's right there. <laughs> oh my gosh, he even blinks. Look at him. Dumbo, you're so happy. So much energy. So sweet. I'll take the next group. I'm like screaming right now. I swear, I'm just screaming. Look. He's so cute.
gonna be walking past Rancho del Zocalo and I realized that I really wanted to get this. So this is the Ta Cup Trio. It's a trio of mini tostadas with ground beef, chicken, and cauliflower with beans, cheese, sour cream, and guacamole served with Mexican rice and refried beans. And what's so cool about this is that it was an original menu item of the restaurant that was here. Well, I was gonna say before Rancho del Zocalo, but way back when, like way, 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 way back when, you know, like a throwback type of way back when. So very empty, just the way we like it. This looks so fantastic and I have probably said it about 10 times, but I just like listening to the music. Can you hear it? It sounds really nice, right? But anyway, okay, Rancho del Zocalo has fantastic rice and beans, so we already know that's gonna be good. But look at how adorable these little mini tostada taco cups are. So cute. So this is the cauliflower one. That one looks divine. And then this was chicken, right? I should know. Why am I asking you? And then that one back there, I believe, is beef. Once again, I'm the one who should know, not you. <laughs> And now here we are on the beautiful patio of Rancho del Zocalo. It's so quiet. It is wonderfully quiet right now. So let's try this out. I'm gonna try the beef one first. Ooh, it looks really juicy. Also, the guac is going all over the place. Hmm, I just mixed a little bit of the chicken and the beef, not purposely, but we're gonna do it. Boy, the flavor is really good, but the beef is not the most tender. The chicken, on the other hand, was very tender. And then the pico de gallo on top is a little bit spicy. Ooh, actually, it's pretty spicy and has a really good fresh flavor to it. And then I really want to try the cauliflower. I love trying vegetarian food and vegan food, so whenever I see the cauliflower option for like here at Rancho de Zocalo, if you ever get the tacos, they're good. Come here, get the tacos, all the food here is good. But the cauliflower tacos with the rice and beans, A+. Plus. Anyway, let's try this one. Really delicious. They seasoned the cauliflower really nicely. It's actually the same cauliflower they use for the tacos. So yeah, they're very good. And like I said, I already know the rice and beans are spectacular. Oh, and then, okay, I got this too. Look, I have the chips con limon, right? Yeah, crispy chips con limon, and it has a little Donald Duck on it. That's why we love it. Actually, no, that's not true. It's because they have like a really nice lime flavor to them, and it definitely makes up for that really bad PB&J burger, right? Are you listening? <laughs> I love that. So empty. <laughs> But I think what's so cool about this event is that all of the characters are just wandering around. Like it's not a set meet and greet, they're actually playing games with you, they're interacting with you, and it's really unique and really, really cool. Okay, we are on our way to get our little Magic Key giveaway. So if you are a Magic Key holder at these After Dark events, they always have a little special something to give you. Hello! <gasps> Thank you! Look at how cute this is. It's actually made out of felt. And it's so adorable. It's a classic little pennant. It's two of the three little pigs. Where's your other brother? Oh, he's somewhere over there. Uh-oh, I hope he's not by the big bad wolf. Is he? We have to go save him. And when I say let's go save them, I mean let's follow them to save him. <laughs> no, be careful, he's behind you. <laughs> Keep hiding, go, go. Oh no. The big bad wolf really has a special way about him, don't you think? <laughs> So empty. Look at this. I feel like that's the theme for tonight. Aside from the very obvious throwback night theme. <laughs> but anyway, I am in front of Tropical Hideaway. 
I wanted to get a little Dole Whip, a little special throwback night Dole Whip. And I was worried that the lines were gonna be pretty long for this treat, but as you can see, really no line at all. Long enough? Yeah. It is the very end of the night. And I'm also just very sleepy, okay? But here I am. I said that I was gonna get that thing from Tropical Hideaway, and I did, and I'm sorry. I already started eating it. And this is good. This is really good. This is a fruit punch Dole Whip float, and I think it's my favorite. Well, okay, it's definitely the favorite of all the things I've eaten today. That's for sure. But then in terms of like Dole Whip floats, I think this is the best one. It has like a really intense fruit punchy flavor, but then it also has that pineapple-y flavor from the Dole Whip. A plus treat. I'm really happy I got that, but it wasn't the only thing I got because obviously I am now at Jolly Holiday and you know that because there was a cream cheese pretzel on the menu, I had to get it. I had to get it, there was no way I could not get it, and so I did, but I haven't tried it yet, so let's try it. Here she is. Isn't she beautiful? Or at least I would think that. But this is the circus pretzel, which in and of itself is just the cutest little name, but it has marshmallow and cotton candy icing and of course some adorable little sprinkles. It also looks very fluffy, which is one quality of a cream cheese pretzel that is always desirable, you know? You don't want it to be crispy or crunchy. You want it to be fluffy, floofy, doughy. Okay, let's do this. One last thing of throwback night, the very last thing, we're gonna end it on a good note because I already know a cream cheese pretzel can never be bad. It's always gonna be good, so here we go. Yep, that's perfection. There's no question about it. That's perfect. Just really good. Cream cheese pretzel deliciousness. Very soft, very doughy, cream cheesy. And what else? See, I'm getting really sleepy. <laughs> but I will say it kind of tastes like a circus animal cookie because the marshmallow and cotton candy mixed together. Circus animal cookie. Or maybe I'm being deceived in my head because of the sprinkles. Either way, A plus treat. Oh my god, I lied. Okay, I also got this from Jolly Holiday, okay? And I definitely cannot eat it, so I'm so thankful it comes in its own little container so I can safely tuck it away for home. But this is the Sunday cupcake. And it's so cute. Look, you can see there's like magic shell, some like hard chocolate on the top with adorable icing and a little cherry on top. But yeah, I'll just have to let you guys know later how it is because I definitely can't eat it right now. <laughs> Okay, so I'm actually gonna go ahead and end the video here on the very quiet patio of Jolly Holiday while the music is still playing. And I just wanna say it was such a fun night. I, one, first of all, cannot believe how quiet and not busy Disneyland seemed. Like everywhere you walked, no crowds. And if you wanted to come here on a night where you just wanted to ride rides, this would have been such a good night. Like you would have been able to do everything so easily. But yeah, I really liked meeting all the characters. The food was like, okay, you know, it was all right. But the things that we ended on, the Tropical Hideaway Dole Whip float, and then that, oh my gosh, the cream cheese pretzel. But I just love a cream cheese pretzel. Like, I will never not love one. <laughs> but, well, unless it was, I don't know. Like, no, that's not true. I, I will always love one. <laughs> but all around a really, really fun day. And I hope you guys had fun coming along with me. And yes, thank you guys for watching. <laughs> okay, I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.